Here we have a new 2022 Chevrolet Tahoe. This one comes in the RST trim level on that beautiful cherry red tint coat on jet black with victory red pinstripe perforated leather seats. And the powertrain consists of a 5.3 liter naturally aspirated V8 made it to a 10 speed automatic transmission. So as we get to the front end here, of course we have our blacked out grill along with the black badging, LED headlamps along with LED daytime running lights. And then down here we have 22 inch aluminum wheels. Passive keyless entry on all four doors. And here we have the controls for the power door locks, power windows, power mirrors, as well as the memory seating. And then we get power folding mirrors with blind spot monitors as well. Some of our controls here, along with four wheel drive and headlamps, and then the electronic parking brake. And there's the power driver's seat with power lumbar support. Now under the rear seat, now of course, this one's folded down and to fold it down, you just have to hit this twice. And then to put it back up, you just lift on it. it just requires a little bit of oomph to it. And then to slide it back and forth, you pull up on this lever here and push. So that's the leg room I have and I'm 6'3". And then I have the seat adjusted for someone of my size as well. And down here we have our automatic rear AC controls so you can mess with the fan speed, mess with the temperature, and then put it in the auto mode and then you can have it set to be, let's say 74 degrees back here and you can do that. And of course we have heated three-stage seats for the outboard passengers, two USB-C charging ports, and then three-prong household plug-in so I think that puts in 110, 120 volts. And there's our panoramic sunroof. Goes all the way back to the back of the second row, as you can see. So pretty good size. And there's our third row. And then you see how I'm sitting here. So let's go ahead and check out how the third row is. Sitting right behind that seat. So Technically, I can fit back here. Of course, my knees are against the back of the seat, but if I had a little bit more, probably if I move the second row up a click, I could fit back here, and then I still have a little bit of space there as well. So you can fit three full-size adults, one behind the other. But if you start coming six, five, six, six, long legs, you're gonna be in trouble anyway, no matter what you're looking at. <laughs> and of course, you have the vents here and then in that third row as well. But onto the cargo space. And there we have our rear end with our tail lamps. And there's our power lift gate. So pretty good cargo space, but if you want even more, all I have to do is Press these buttons here, and they'll go ahead and fold the seats down. And when they're up far enough, they actually will fold flat, and then you can also fold them back up too. So nice to have that. And then you can also fold the second row buckets down from back here as well. There we have our power passenger seat with power lumbar support. And we're just gonna take a quick peek at the engine bay. And there's that 5.3 liter V8, which is mostly covered up. 
so you can get a quick peek down there. But now let's hop in the driver's seat and check out our features. So leather wrapped steering wheel here, which we can heat, hitting this button there. It's also power tilt and telescoping. So up, down, front to back. And over here we have our all new infotainment system. What I like about this is we have Google now instead of the uh, outgoing radio system. So for AM, FM, XM, radio, along with Bluetooth audio, you hit that there. And you can even pull up your Google News, your podcast, and then if you have a USB, you can hook that up. And of course, we still get the wireless Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. But most importantly, we have access to Google Maps now. Which is a big plus. So just showing what each button does. Of course, you get Google Assistant. Then you have the Wi-Fi hotspot. And then let me just show you the, the home page there. Which I like, you have your audio source hooked up here. So let's say you're playing a song. Then you can also have your maps up as well. So you can control both of them on the same screen. And there's our backup cam. And you also have that bird's eye view as well front camera, curbside camera, and then you're backing the trailer up. And then for our shifter, press P for park, pull up for reverse, press down for neutral, pull up for drive, press that L for low, and then you can shift here. And then we have our volume knob, and then radio track list knob here, home button, then you can seek, back button, and then we have our dual zone automatic climate controls here with our three stage heated seats for the front driver and front passenger. And you can either do the seat back or you can do the seat back and the bottom. Wireless charging pad with the USB-C and USB-A input there. Now your cup holders. Pretty good size center console cubby space with this removable tray here. And then you also have two more USB ports, a USB-C and a USB-A. And then one touch sliding and tilting sunroof here. And then we can just pull that shade with the touch of a button as well. So we have our universal home remote here. We can actually control our hatch from here so you can fold your third row seats by just hitting this button here to fold down and fold up. Let's say you don't want to get out of the car and somebody's putting something in there. You can just touch the button. Now to the left side of the steering wheel, we have our cruise controls. That heated steering wheel I was talking about earlier, the forward collision gap adjust there, Bluetooth controls, and then we can go through our gauge cluster here, which I'll check out in a minute, along with the Bluetooth controls there. And then track list or radio station controls here, up and down. And then volume controls over here. Now onto this new digital gauge cluster display here. There's just so much to check out. I really like this drive summary here because based on each drive, you can check out the distance, check out the miles per gallon you were getting, and then how long the engine was actually running. And then we have our drive modes and then you'll see here that it'll change on the tachometer side, which I really love. That's probably my favorite thing about this gauge cluster. And then it'll show you what you're doing. And then the same thing with the four wheel drive, you want to put in a four wheel high, for instance, It'll go ahead and show you over there digitally by where the Tahoe logo is there. 
So just really sweet setup. There's your push button start. Here's your key fob with remote start. And finally, we're gonna see what this thing stickers for. So there's that sticker price there, 68,285. This one has that luxury package. So you get the heated second row seats, the power second row and third row. And then you can see the cost of the roof and all that. But now I think we go ahead and take this 2022 Tahoe RST out on the road for a quick test drive. So right off the bat, like in every other vehicle I've driven with this 10-speed automatic, just seamless shifts, absolutely seamless. And pretty good acceleration without putting too much on the engine let's try this sport mode out and we're getting on, on the interstate And still the shifts are not clunky at all in this sport mode, which is fantastic because most vehicles that I drive, when they have a sport mode, the shifts are harsh. Of course, it's to keep the engine hot, but I mean, this is just great. Absolutely great. So we're gonna get a chance to throw it back here in a second. Just fantastic power, absolutely fantastic. And that sport mode really brings it out. And overall, good quality ride coming down the interstate here. I'm gonna double check as I get up to speed, put the cruise on. Yeah, really nice, really nice ride. And pretty good sound acoustics in the cabin as well. Not a lot of wind noise.
And I will say, it's a Tahoe, so it's a big vehicle, but it just doesn't drive that big. Just in terms of how I have to put my foot down, the steering, ride quality, it's just really, really nice. And actually, I would have expected this ride to be a little harsher with these 22s on here, but the ride quality is not bad at all. Really impressive. So overall, no surprises, great riding vehicle, but this will bring me to an end of my review of the 2022 Tahoe RST.